And we're back! And I'm certainly excited, really excited about how this turned out, guys. I think this is... What is up, the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing some more Ark Survival Evolved Scorched Earth on the Poby Evolved Scorched Earth server. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great day, and we're back doing stuff and things. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me today. Make sure if you guys like the video, please don't forget to show your support and hit the like button. And if you're new and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. And today, yesterday, we did all this gathering of stuff and things so we can make some vaults. And today, we've made the vaults. The vaults are here, so I placed all the vaults. I told you I was going to do some of this stuff off camera. I didn't want to do too much of it off camera, but I do like there to be a balance. Um, sometimes between amazingly boring off-camera stuff and uh, doing stuff off ca on camera, but here you can see guys I've done it. I've done it the completely flush mounted vaults Nail the day stick ah! Wait, we didn't nail the days the KB stops. Come on derp. Let's get over here We got to continue with the episode people are trying to see something and we're on to like come on. Let's do this No, you can do it. I believe in you so much more than anything. I think that you can follow me. I know that you can do it We did it Amazing! All right, so uh, like I was saying, over here we've got our flush-mounted vaults. Can we go ahead and land for realsies? And then on the top, you can see here we can access them all. You know, uh, yesterday we were having some trouble with uh, if there was a ceiling or something in the way, it would say set pin code like this. But over here, it says access inventory. We can do it. Nail that escape stopped. We have our two sets of them. They're a little bit wider, further apart than I wanted, but I think this is going to work out fine. It's, I mean, if we needed to like park something in one spot or the other. You know what I mean? Like, if we had a huge amount of stone, we could just park our Wyvern Wyvern closer to the stone side, and then we can unload it. It'll be really easy to do. Plus, the, another reason I wanted this to be really big is because I'm kind of doing, like, a little bit of a different design here this time. What I want to do is put all my machines in the center here. So, um, down the center of this area, there's going to be all machines, which is a little bit counterintuitive to how normally you would do stuff and things. But, because normally you would want, like, there to be a doorway right here. And then, wait, what, like one of these? You want there to be a gateway right there, and then you'd want all your, you know what I mean, an open space in the center so that you could like walk a dino in here. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna walk almost any dinos in here, but uh, well, you'll see, I'm gonna, I have like a plan that I planned. So if we do need to walk one in here, we are gonna be able to, or we're gonna try to. Um, so, all right, we got a little bit of some materials done, but I gotta tell you what, I wanna get a lot of progress done today. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I don't like to do like too many building episodes in a row, but I do wanna do, um, I do wanna get a lot more of this done today. So that means we have a huge amount of stuff and things to do. Now, um, again, I'll do most of the stuff off camera. We do have a lot of clay all saved up here. I actually didn't have room for it all everywhere. So I stuffed some of it inside of here of our mortar and pestles. We do have a lot of cementing base as well. We got a ton of that yesterday from doing stuff and things. So we're kind of good to go with that. What we really need a lot of is a lot more metal because we're going to end up breaking a lot of the stuff. The refrigerators are going to be broken. Um, our fabricator, generator, chemistry table, refrigerators, like a lot of the stuff is going to end up going away. Um, so we're going to need a lot of that. We're going to need a lot more clay. We're going to need a lot more of all building materials, basically. What I think we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead because I think I'm really low on wood. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So other than that, I mean, we have some other stuff. We got thatch. We have fiber. But wood we're really low on and metal we're really low on. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and take some time to get a bunch of materials ready to rock. Just like a huge amount of walls, ceilings, everything ready to go so I can do a lot of building. Um, now, when I was thinking about doing this, also what we're going to have to do is we are, are going to have to run wiring and get a jenny. So I think the first thing we're going to put in is a generator. Then we're going to run our wiring right down through the center. We'll probably run it onto the edges as well because we probably have some stuff and things. Eh, well, I don't know. We'll see how it all goes. Um, the other thing that's going on with the base is, and you guys know this from playing Scorched Earth, of course, is that, you know, you want to have your base be able to, like, save you and shelter you from storms. Now, right now, if I'm not mistaken, like I was saying in the last episode, these Adobe Dinosaur Gateways, or the Gate Frames, or whatever, these actually don't snap in, so since they don't snap in, they don't, they, they're not considered kind of like part of the structure. I think that's what's going on, and that's why storms kind of get inside your base. So if we take a look at this one, too, like, it's not going to snap anywhere around here. Um, and I was thinking about putting one right here just so we can get in and out of the base this this way from this side and possibly walk a dino in if we needed to. So um, I think that we're... Oh, yeah. And, and be, the reason why I'm deciding to use this gateway is because over here, if you remember, in order to make these line up the correct way, because our ceilings are not snapped in. They're kind of like snapped onto the this pillar. They're not snapped... Or the that pillar over there behind that. They're not snapped into the actual walls. I ended up putting up these the uh, railings on the side, so it kind of looks like they touch, but they're not actually snapped. So this whole part of the base is not gonna, most likely not gonna save us from sandstorm action. We'll see how it works out. So 
it doesn't matter if we put the gateway in on the side here. So it was perfectly good to go. So to be honest with you, perfectly honest, we can go ahead and go like this. And we can go like this. And you can see, well, wait, wait, see? That's where we're having a problem with that gap. See, that that snapped to the top of that ceiling when really we needed to snap. Like, so you see what I'm saying? Oh, you know what that means? Oh, this might not work out at all. Holy crap. Let's take a look here real quick while I got you right here. Let's go ahead and see if this is going to work out. So we've got to make sure this is like equal. Uh, we've got to turn to the right a little bit like that. A little bit more uh, water. All right, let me see here. We got this like perfectly good. Oh, why can't you snap game? Is that like, is that it? Is that on? Is it it? Oh, it'll work. Oh, wait, but it sticks up too much. Oh, how you vex me game. So, hmm, now I'm thinking this isn't going to work either. Hmm. Yeah, man. So, that is probably not going to work either. Hmm, I really wanted to put a door there. That would be really great. But I can't really raise this up because then you wouldn't... I want to think about it. All right, so I had a lot of think things to think about. I have so much thinking to do, guys. And so much gathering of the resources to do. So, let me take a look here. Remember when I was working on Nemeth? Oh, we got some stuff and things right there. Uh, I was trying to work on Nemeth to pump his weight. Check out the weight on the derp. The weight on the derp is 665. Can we even get over to Nemeth right now? Hold on. Let me go ahead and put some of these inside of here like that. And then we can pop over here so I can show you. I was pumping weight on this guy. And his is only 625. So derp, I don't believe I've pumped weight on him almost at all. And he's already better weight than uh, Nemeth is. So we'll probably use him to get our stuff and things done today. All right. So next stage in the stuff and things ladder is we're going to go ahead, head over to the community forge, get a bunch of metal going. Get a bunch of clay going. Then I'm going to go ahead and harvest up a huge amount of materials. I'm going to build a lot of the building materials that we need to get seven things done. And then I will be our beast, peeps. And we're back. Get some stuff and things done, peeps. I'm basically ready to start, like, moving some of the machines around. I was thinking. I was thinking about getting a lot of the building done. But I think we really need to get, like, machines going first. So what we can be... Oh, man. This thing is full. So what we can basically do if... Oh, you know what? I can take this out of there. Ha, 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 ha. We can drop this crap all. What? Nah, nah. Hold on a second. What? Nah, 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 nah. So we can start using uh, the new area for building while we're building. Like, it only makes sense because I've already moved all my other stuff and things over. I'll show you guys in a second. What else do we got inside here? We need to move. You know, we can pull this out. We can go like that. All right. So then let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. We need to build some electronics. How many can we get? Let's get 100 going. All right, so while that's doing its thing over there, we'll come inside of here and go like so. I have torn down all of this stuff and things right here. All this storage is now in that storage, and I have Jenny over there. And I have uh, some of the wiring already run. So inside of here, we're going to need to get a fab going. Let's go ahead and build that fabricator like that. Then let's come out. And yeah, like I was saying, my plan is in the center here is where we're going to have all of our machines. Now, I left a little bit of room right here if we want to walk something in here, like a uh, fat bug or something like that. We'd have room to do that. And we've got three of these bad boys. Let's go ahead and just squirt one of them down. Uh, yeah, and then one of them down on this edge. Yeah, and then one of them in the center. Oh, there's like no good center. We'll put it right there. All right, sweet. So we got that. Now we got our fabricator ready to rock and roll. Let's go ahead and pull it out of here. Yeah. All right, we got to be really careful with the placement of this fabricator. It's got to be like the most amazing thing that ever happened. So let's go ahead and see here. If we go into K mode, no, and like that. Uh, huh? Huh? No, a little bit more to the right, huh? Huh? Wait, you know what? I need it to be a little bit closer to me. There we go. We can see a little bit better now. Is that looking pretty straight? Looks pretty good. I'm totally into this. All right, let's go right here. Nailed it, he's the cubes. Oh, we have an amazing fabricator. And, oh, wow, we did get it pretty good in the middle there. So we got to take a look at, I need a chemistry table to go in here next. I'm not really sure if we have all the stuff and things that we need in order to build that. Let me see here. I went out and got a bunch of polymer, cementy paste, spark powder. We have 250 electronics that we need. Oh, that stinks. All right, so can we... Oh, just 12 more? Crap. I guess I'm going to need more silica pearls. I thought we'd have enough stuff and things to do that. All right, so there are some other stuff and things that we need to get going over here. Let me go ahead and show you what my thoughts are. Adobe ceiling. We need one of these. We need more clay. So we kind of have to go out here for right now. I also labeled all my vaults, as you can see right here. We have stone and flint, wood and thatch, sand and clay, hide and chitin, and fiber. Over here, we've got structures, weapons and armor, blank... Salt and sulfur, which is probably going to change, and then crystal oil, pearls, etc., which is probably going to change a little bit. So we do have some of the cementing paste that we needed already to rock and roll for our chemistry table. I'm going to have to get more silica pearls so that we can make the rest of the electronics that we're going to need. I don't think I can fit all this stuff in here, man. Electric prod can come out. That can come out. 
There's two more spots that could come out. There's another spot we could pull that sulfur out. There we go. So we have a little bit of extra room now. So I'm um, also thinking about this roof here a little bit. Let's go ahead and stick our weapons inside of this weapons chest and our sulfur and our salt sulfur vault. Pardon me. So I was thinking about up on top of here what we could do with maybe adding a couple of different skylights with the new Adobe hatches. So I put them right in the center, but what I'm thinking about doing is instead of putting them in the center, I'm thinking about putting them on the edges. So like right, uh, 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 there we go, this is better. So like right along here and here. So like right here we'd have two, and then right here we'd have two. So we could open them and fly something into this open space right here if we needed to do that. And I think that's a really good idea. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Derp, you're amazing. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna need a little bit of clay, which we have, uh, wait, that's, that is the correct spot. We have a ton of, let's grab 400, the 500, that should be enough of that stuff. And let me go ahead and see here. Squirt all this inside of here like a so, and then let's go back into Adobe. There's two, three, four of those bad boys. All right, let's just grab one of these guys. I'm really interested to see how this is gonna fit. So if we go like this, is this gonna break the ceilings? Let's test this. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, that's kind of a pain in the butt. This is exactly what I didn't want to have happen. Uh, but it's no big whoop, I guess. It looks cool though. You know what? That looks really neat. That's like a great little aesthetic piece that you can use in base building. Pro tips from Slipgator. So now we can actually demolish this stuff out of here. Like so, and like so, and like so. Wait, what? So we have to break all these out. Like that. So, oh, you know what we might be able to do too? Oh, I just had another idea. Maybe we'll use some greenhouse glass to do some stuff and things. So let's see, we have the rest of these guys built inside of here. Uh, <laughs> like so. Now what we can do is place these guys over here. There's one here. Oh, I can't place this one. I wonder why. That's weird. On this side, they won't place, but on that side, they would. They'll place right there. They won't place there. That's super strange, man. I wonder why that is. Is it because of the vaults? Because that would suck. Are the vaults like far enough over on this side? No, like it's overlapping on that side. I wonder if it's because of the ceilings. So anywho, so you get a better idea of what we got going on. We still have a bunch of stuff and things to get done as far as building goes, but I did want to give you guys a little bit of an update. Can we do it from up here? We certainly cannot. So yeah, and it can't be the vaults because I can't place them right here either. Maybe we just need to take these ceilings out. Let's just do this together real quick and see what how, how this kind of happens. Let's try to take these four ceilings out and then see, can we do it now? No, let's take this deal out, this guy out right here. Can we do it now? All right, sweet. So that'll be, that'll work out perfect. So now we can do this one and we can destroy this guy and get all these new uh, trap door ceilings up and running. That looks great. I like this, this is gonna be cool, man. This little area is gonna be cool. So, um, yeah, like I was saying, a little bit of an update. I got a bunch more stuff and things to do, and I'll be RVs, peeps. And we're back, and I'm certainly excited, really excited about how this turned out, guys. I think this is probably, so far, one of the most, like, I don't know. The funny thing about this base, so far, is that it's super functional. Like, I love the way that it functions. I've been playing around with it. I got it built out. Of course, we've got like, um, well, I got a, I ended up not really having a place to put the smithy. I tried to stick it on the end right here, but I didn't really like how that kind of blocked this whole area off. So I decided I'd just put it right here. It is pretty close and we didn't really have, I don't know, it didn't feel like it fit in the middle. So the smithy's right over here, but then we've got our generator, our fabricator, our chemistry table, our refrigerators and our air conditioners all inside of here. These might be a weird place for the AC units. I'm not sure what the end of this is gonna look like yet. Um, so I'm not really sure about hatching eggs inside of here, uh, but we'll see how it all works out. But anyway, the top is really what I think is the piece of resistance. I think this came out so good. And when you fly over it from outside, it looks so cool. Check it out, guys. Like, it's just really cool. Like, it's probably the coolest box I've ever built. And that's one of the challenges, I think, with Ark is like to build something that's not a box that looks cool. Um, it's really difficult because of how big the building air quotes blocks are. The blocks are so large that it's hard to build things that aren't like squares unless you build it humongous. And then that's just this ridiculous, you know what I mean? Uh, 500 hours of time suck into building in, into building your base, which I don't think is really necessarily super fun. So, um, but up here, I think this is really cool. It just came out so good, man. I decided to put the greenhouse ceilings in. 
up top right there. We've got our uh, trap doors on the top here. We can access all of our vaults from the top too. So if we want to go ahead and fly a guy in, once it's complete, you know, we can do that just like so. And you can fly your guy right into the into this area and then you can land and offload your stuff if you wanted to. Or you can just do it. Can we close that? Sweet. Or well, you can do it right from the top as I had planned on doing with the Wyvern Wyvern. So, oh, whoa, I'm trying to get off. Okay, there we go. Accidentally opened the door instead of getting off. But doesn't that look neat? I think it's really cool. I love the way this turned out. At the end of the day, though, it is still a box. And so, and but it can't be anything but that. Like, you have to understand the whole idea of this is the functionality of being able to land the Wyvern Wyvern on top of like so. If you want to be able to do this, we, it has to be flat. Like, it can't be anything else. So this is the way this part has to be. So this part of the base is pretty much built. I'm going to probably stick some stuff and things in here to make it aesthetically a little bit more pleasing. But... This is working. This is the thing. We've got all our refrigerators full of our stuff and things. I moved all our eggs over, cactus sap. There's all of our food. I moved all of this stuff inside of here. Is this thing on? No, it's not. Is this thing on? Yes, turn that bad boy off like so. So we don't have a windmill or anything like that set up here yet, um, but that's something that we can work on in the future for sure. So it's basically good. Now, there are some things that I do want to move in. We obviously want refining forges to go in there. You do need them for different things. Um, it is something that we want. We do want industrial grill. Somewhere around here, we do want some um, preserving bins to go out here somewhere. Oh, whoa, 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 there's a huge battle. Oh, crap, there was a fight. I didn't even realize it. Does anybody get... Whoa, whoa, I'm stuck. Bug, why are you in the battle? Bug, you're not supposed to be in battles. What the crap, Bug? Get back up there. You're supposed to be on... Why... What? Why are you not on passive? Why do you hate me, game? All right, uh, movement speed. We still got to tame a high-level moth, too. I want to see what we can get movement speed up to on these guys. And all of our Womantises are all moved out of position now. This is perfectly suck. I, um, perfectly suck. I wonder why this happened. I thought I had all these guys on new, are, are on passive. I must have got a neutral whistle in here somewhere. But I do want to move them around because I want to, the, the, whoa, man, are you fast, homie? I want to see if anybody laid in the eggs while we were doing our stuff and things. Oh, what? Is that a bad guy, Wolf? That's a bad guy, Wolf. We got incoming. Stuff and things are happening. Oh, it's Terror Bird. What level are you, man? Oh my god. You took so many hits from Hungry Like, I can't even believe it. So we gotta get a whistle passive in here. But more importantly, did anybody lay any friggin' eggs? You guys suck at being eggs. Laying eggs. You're of course you suck at being eggs. You're not eggs. I'll have to clean this up later. What a disaster. And still no more eggs. It's so weird. Sometimes I log in, there'll be one or two, and then I've been building here for like hours and hours, and I haven't seen any. It's so, so awful strange. So anyway, this part is really cool. I like the way this is turning out. So let's talk about what the next stage is. One of the things that I kind of was thinking about wanting to do here is I want to make ramps that I can walk down. Now, again, this is going to lead to some scorched earth problems because, wait, ramps? Because scorched earth, you really want things to be like, like closed, um, closed off. This would lead to some scorched earth problems, but I have a theory about it. So what I want to do is, okay, we want to do those guys like that. Then we want to get some ceilings in here. Let's grab these guys. Can we just squirt these on the end? Of course we can't. Why would we? That would just be too easy. So can we get pillars like so? I, I'm going to try to build on camera. This ought to be great. This ought to be so, so great. So if we do like that, that ain't going to work. Because then these guys are going to be like way too low. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you what. So uh, no. Then they're going to be like way too high. How do we build this? How is this even possible? What are we supposed to do? How do we even build? Because what I wanted to do was have it this come down um, and then come to a stairway and then turn to the side. I think that would look probably pretty good. Let me see here one more time if we can build the pillar higher. No, we can't. So I'm going to have to play around with it to figure out how to do it. We could just do a straight ramp uh, like so. But even still, isn't that weird? Because we built it weird... Um, it's not going to come down flush with the ground. We probably could go like so and then like so. Can we? No, of course. It says it's obstructed. Is that because of this foundation? No, it isn't. It's because of that ceiling right there. So we might be able to break the ceiling and then place the ramp. I kind of wanted there to be a little bit of a turn. So anyway, that's the future plans. I'm going to continue to build. But the majority of what I wanted to get accomplished today, we got accomplished. We got all this stuff done on the top here. We got all this stuff done here. Um, the idea that I had for up here to close that off was what I was thinking of doing was doing another one of the um, these guys, the Adobe giant hatch frames. 
And then, you know what, I'll just squirt this in here so I can build more of them. But what I was thinking about is having the ramps come down, but then having one of the hatch frames on top like that. So I could close this off. I think it would be pretty neat, but I got to figure out a way to make this work. You know what I probably could do? Hmm. All right. I got to build some thatch so I don't waste all my materials. I'm going to try to get this little next part done and uh, we'll see how it turns out. I'll be our beast. Peeps. And we're back. All right. So I started doing some more tearing down of some stuff and things. You know what? We'll talk about this little thing in a second, but I wanted to do this with you. I think that this foundation is holding up the entire rest of the house. Now I could destroy each single piece individually uh, and regain back all of the materials. Uh, but, uh, it would be way more fun to destroy it all at once. And I already have a huge amount of materials that I've reclaimed from breaking all the other stuff and things individually. So we're going to try to break this one foundation and destroy the entire rest of the house. I'm kind of excited about it. Uh, oh, I, I penned these guys off too. I went ahead and just made sure the pen was completely closed off for those guys. But here we go, guys. We're going to destroy the whole rest of the house. I can't believe we're going to do this. And all right, let's count it down in three. Go. Oh, the lag is real. Ugh, weird. Weird. Is it gone? Did we crash the server? You know what? I think that's gone. But the server says it's still there or something like that. That is super weird. Can we like... Oh, oh it's gone. Now the basic game we stopped. We did it. We broke the whole house. Oh my gosh, man. So, all right, the rest of the house is gone. Let me show you a couple other things that I added in here. I decided I needed a space for storing salt. We had that back here. So I figured why not make all the salt we'd ever need for the entire rest of the season. So I decided to put these guys in back here and they're almost all full. I only had a little bit of sulfur, so I didn't quite complete filling them all up, but we're gonna have to go get some more sulfur. Uh, we gotta make sure we turn that guy off from making salt. But I also added more vessels back here, all along the back edge here. Because there really isn't much else we could do with this space. I thought it'd just be a cool spot to have all these vessels. So we need to go get some more sulfur so we can make some more salt. So anyway, over here, my thoughts are, I want to extend this. I ended up figuring out how to do this. I put some pillars in back behind here, and then put uh, the ceiling on top, and then I just extended the ramps down. But I want to make this a 2x2 two two instead of a 2x1. So I need to extend all of these guys under here in order to make the floor big enough so I can make the two by two and all that. But then remember I was talking about maybe we could use one of these door, these uh, roof doors. Uh, what are they even called? I can't even remember what they called these guys. What the crap are they even called? Oh, I don't have an extra. Uh, the roof gateways or whatever they're calling them. Let me see here. Do I have enough stuff in things to make another one? Because I'm going to need it. Uh, uh, Adobe. What are they even called, man? giant adobe hatch frames so i was like it'd be cool if we could have a giant adobe hatch frame up there so that, that would allow us to um be able to close this off if we have a storm right well there's a the big problem with these you can't walk up them it blocks you so if i try to walk up here i get blocked and i have to like jump and then if you try to walk down it like throws you oh they didn't do it that time so i think if you run off of it hold on if we run if we're like running and we run down oh it didn't do it that time weird it was doing to me before of course so anyway this isn't going to really work out for us, but what I'm thinking about doing instead, if we break this and then if we go like so, then this way we could have it and we can just walk over it. So we could walk over like so and then we could walk up like so. The only problem is if we try to put the gate up here, it'll only open in this direction. I can't change the direction that it opens in and it really kind of stinks. Like I really, um, it's always been something that with building has bothered me. Certain things in Ark, if you build... You start uh, your original build. The first block you place uh, can de can determine like the direction that everything else is placing. So these open like this, open in this direction, and it doesn't have a way. I don't have a way to switch that besides tearing this entire thing down and rebuilding it, which isn't going to happen. So if we went like so, we can do it, but that just means we'd have to like open it like this, open up. So now every time we land on something, we can't just like walk down the stairs. We have to come around and walk down, and I just think that sucks so much. Like, it's just such a simple thing to be able to make it so that you can rotate it. I don't understand why we can't. Um, but any I I don't know. I might leave it like this just because I like that I can open and close it. I think that's like a super awesome like feature of the, of the build to be able to open and close this little door here. So, all right. So we're still on our way. I got to tear down all the rest of this. And then I've got to extend out the rest of the base here. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do more stuff and things. It's been a long day, man. But I just feel like I'm in the zone. I just want to get stuff and things done.
And we're back, just coming in from getting some metal. Thought we would test the base out. Now that I have it basically in a fairly complete state here. Oh, whoops, no, uh, we gotta like face like that. Okay, so we need like a metal uh, vault too, which I don't think we have yet. Let's go ahead and rename this one. We'll just call it metal. So we've landed our guy. We've got a little bit of metal. Oh, we got it right here. So we're just gonna come over here. This is how it works, peeps. You just drop it in there, metal and narcotics, I guess. Then we'll grab this guy like so. Grab a little bit of hot metal action. Squirt right in. Works perfectly good. We have a storm coming in too, it looks like. So then we're gonna open the door one day and we can come down in, close that guy. You can see here, I've closed the entire base in. I've left, I put some windows in. I just use the Adobe door frames to put the windows in like so. And then back here, we've got some hot window action as well. And then over here, I just kind of closed this back part in. Um, and I think that I want to do, actually, I ended up closing it in, but I think we're going to maybe make a second story back here. But back here, we've got some open area where we can do some stuff and things out here, like a little bit of a patio deal or whatever. It's looking pretty good. And one of the unexpected, like, uh, engineering amazing things that has happened is that Grignac, when we go to gather stuff and things, look at this. He's, like, perfect. The perfect height. So we can come over here. And we can, can you still access his inventory? There we go. We can access his inventory and grab stuff and things off and put it in the vaults as well. It's like perfect thing, man. And it looks cool. I think that, like I said, I think we need to add like another level to the back here to give it a little bit more of a, I don't know, to make it more like, look more like a building and less like a bunker. But it is definitely a cool new workshop for our new base. But I got to tell you what, that's all the building I can take for one day, peeps. That's all I got. So, we definitely made some amazing improvements to the base. I hope that you had fun hanging out. I'm really glad that we got it done. It's really going to be super cool, and it definitely is helpful to have these big vaults so that we can gather a whole bunch more materials, and we have to do it less often. So, anyway, thanks so much for coming to hang out with me today, guys. Today, guys, words. Make sure if you like the video, please don't forget to show your support and hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit. And may the stuff and things be with you.